will your first ai agent in just two minutes yes you heard me right if you follow with me along with this you can build your first ai in just under two minutes and for that let me just quickly head over to nnn.io dashboard if you are someone new on this channel, I have already recorded a lot of tutorials on how you can build multiple kind of agents on NATN. You can find the playlist over here. Please watch it and make sure you build this agent right here with me in just two minutes. So the first thing we select as the chat trigger. So what this trigger means, whenever someone puts something into the chat, it will trigger the uh, remaining workflow and we have, that is why we have selected trigger as the chat. And from here, we will select a brain basically. We are giving a brain to AI and for that we will just select AI model over here and you can select AI agent over here and here you have to give a system prompt and you will just click on define below. You have to give a prompt you a helpful agent which listens to queries first and does the a research then answers back okay just very simple prompt and let me just click on back on canvas and from here let's select on the chat model now chat model is something what brain you are gonna be using for you and use grok you can use poplexity you can use gemini you can use open ai whichever llm you like you can select that over here so my always go to platform has been open ai so i'll select open ai chat model over here and i'll just let it be on 4.1 mini and let's just have that chat model over here and here what is memory memory is something you have might be using uh, gmail or telegram or whatsapp everything has its memory right so we have to store the chat history in some database this memory is something where making this ai agent equipped enough to have everything stored in his brain so for that we we'll, under the memory we'll be using simple memory and under the simple memory you have got these like what this five means it is gonna store last five conversations okay so if you select if you change this to 550 it will save last 50 conversation or if you change it to 500 you will have last 500 conversations same so for now i'll just keep it to default for the testing purpose it's good to go and under tool you can connect any tool so for example you can use any tool maybe a calculator okay so you can do that and just have the calculator as a tool or maybe a google sheet you want to have as a tool you can do that as well uh, for now i'll just continue with a calculator for you guys to show and that's it your chat model is now ready and let's just test this chat model creating an AI agent so I just hit enter and let's see what answer it gives so you can sure see sure please go ahead and tell me your query I will research the information and provide you with an answer help me build my first no code AI agent which is capable to chat okay let's just hit enter and you can see everything is working over here uh, please share your question and i will research it thoroughly before providing okay let help me integrate open ai with n810 so now from ideally it should be asking questions and then give you the answer so if you want to change this prompt and everything you can just you can again test it and iterate the prompt over here click on this and whatever prompt you have given you can just keep on iterating on making it better and better by changing the prompt that's how about it and what you can do is because this particular chat form is uh, very weak right so if you want to pass this chat messages to somewhere else all you have to do is just have these change to uh, webhooks so for example if you want to get the query from some other platform you can change this to webhook and just add on send to webhook trigger over here and whatever is coming from any other platform it will trigger the workflow and it will send back to uh, to the same platform again so if you want me to record a separate video for that just uh, comment webhook and i will record a separate video that how you can get response from any other platform and send it back to that platform but at the back end you are using this for AI agent for yourself if you want that just 
comment webhook and i will record a separate video just for you guys okay so that's how you have created your first ai agent in under two minutes and do try it out and if you have been following with me till here and this is how easy it is to create your first ai agent and let me know in the comment section what has been the outcomes and i'll see you in the next one